G'day everybody, welcome back to Reactive Gaming and welcome back to Once Human. Today I thought this would be a perfect opportunity since we've done a little bit of work on the game, we're starting to get really familiar with it, is to show everybody what we've learnt. Now, I found personally one of the most difficult parts of this game is to learn the key bindings, learning the functionality of the keyboard and how they got it laid out and how the building mechanics work and stuff like that. So I thought I'd share a little bit of this with you guys today. Um, we're going to start from the very, very beginning where everyone should be starting when they're first starting this game is basically moving around your little campsite. Now, this should be very simple because if you've done the tutorial, this should all be there, but I thought I'd cover it again just from, you know, why not? So if anyone here doesn't know how to do this yet, this will be perfect for you. So if you hit T on your keyboard, this will give you the ability to move your camp around anywhere you want on this map. Now, within, obviously, the limitations of where you're up to on the game progress. But this basically will be really, really simple. You just plop it down anywhere you want. Uh, now, I don't want to do that because I already got my base set up over here. And another one that's going to be really, really good for you is if, for whatever reason, you found a location and you're no longer happy with it or you want to move or you want to move close to where you're progressing... Uh, or if you just outgrow your lot, because if you can't tell from here, which you can't see right now, but there are a lot of buildings coming up around the area. You might hate the neighborhood now. You want to move. <laughs> you never know. You might have some troublesome neighbors. Someone's causing grief. Someone's coming into your property. Someone's messing with you. I know they can't physically do anything, but you'll have someone that might just be a real pain in the ass and just linger around your build all the time. That happens. All you're going to have to do on that one is hit B on your keyboard for me. This will give you the ability now to go into building mode. Now to move your building all together. If you hit the Z button or Z button, whatever you want to call it. Now you can pick up everything that you have, including everything inside. Every little detail, you can be picked up and moved to a different location. Um, now, also, by hitting your little squiggly line above your tab, I don't know what it's called, I'm sorry. You the can, wave, yeah. Yeah, the little wavy squiggly line. You can go into a, what they call a bit of a fly mode, and you can actually kind of position your house a little bit better. Uh, let's go a little bit higher. And obviously, the area that I'm working on right now is not big enough because my base is too big. But for instance, you want to move down on top of the hill or whatever. You want to move your place wherever you want. This is the way to do it. It's a lot easier and just to get out of that just hit your escape key and that's back to how it was now you can do that every 10 minutes so if you mess it up the first time there is a 10 minute cooldown you have to wait for that unfortunately but it's free but, to do yeah it's free to do doesn't cost you anything doesn't cost you any star what do you call it um uh star, oh yeah i can't remember what it's called now um it's like starlink or something like that uh, the little the currency they use um, to basically buy things in the game. All right, so we're going to head over to probably one of the next easy sort of ones that you should probably learn is hitting N on your keyboard. Now, this place doesn't get as dark as some games, but it still does get dark when you're going into certain buildings. By hitting N on and off, you have the ability... I'll show you right now. We go into my dark little cave of a house, <laughs> and you'll see... By hitting N, you actually have a pretty decent flashlight. And James is around too. I just saw his flashlight going. <laughs> that really does. It helps really a lot. Light up. It really helps during the night time. All right, moving on to probably what everyone's been mainly looking for is the building. Uh, by hitting B again on your keyboard, you activate your first stage of going into the building process. Now, using the right click on your mouse, it'll give you the ability to go into all your different sort of functionalities, structures, furniture, all that sort of stuff that you need to know for building. Um, I don't really want to go through and show you exactly what you can build because I have not unlocked much yet. Still very new to the game. I'm just trying to share a little bit of wisdom that I've learned so far that I found personally quite difficult to master. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm very. I'm used to games like Sons of the Forest where everything is very, very basic and simple. There's one click and it does everything. You know what I mean? Like it's it's yeah. easy. Yeah. But we do have a lot of options. 
obviously I need to unlock a lot of these options, but yeah. Now, a lot of people have been asking me as well how to do blueprints or how to fill blueprints. I'll show you real quick with that one as well. You're going to do your little uh, workshop, are you? Yeah, it's just going into like one of your crafting. Say, for instance, you want to craft a weapon. Um, let's go into that real quick. And you want to upgrade or you want to move to the next tier on stuff or you just want to simply make a pair of pants or use a pair of pants. I've got these ones here, but I don't have enough um, energy. Like that's what it's called, sorry, to do so. But we could um, pretty much just use this stuff. By able to craft or upgrade or go up tiers, what you need to do. The, I, this took me once again a little while to learn how to do it is you got down here the crafting materials that you require. So we're going to do these pants up. I don't really need to, but I'm going to do it anyway. By filling it, hit F for crafting, and that'll fill that up there. And then what you got to do is, I don't have enough energy links, but, and then you will just hit F again, and that'll craft the item up for you. So I thought that was a pretty cool little one for everybody to learn. Um, now, the F key is obviously the key that you're going to be using most for everything, including picking up, well, that's actually the main purpose. But en entering into any sort of um, crafting uh, station stove, your furnaces, your you know, everything like that, your F key is your, the biggest thing you're going to use for everything. I just yeah. can't really say it any more than that. While I'm in the screen too here, I've been doing it the sucker way by hitting F for craft, doing it one at a time, which is really slow because it only allows you to do about five at a time. You can actually drag your little... Cursor? Cursor, or... yeah. Up as much as your materials allow you to do. Now, the max you can do at any given time is 99. Uh, I don't have enough uh, water bottles or dirty water, really, to do that with me at the moment. But you can drag it that's up to 99. That's really helpful. I learned that as well just recently. And then you just walk away and come back to it. Just walk away. We'll just do it up right now. It'll come up with a little notification. It'll tell you exactly how long it's going to take. 22 seconds for remaining on that one to finish. It'll come up with a little notification that's ready to go. So you keep moving on doing your um, merry little way. Was there anything else, James, that I'm forgetting that's going to be sort of crucial to... Building? Building. There's or one other thing I want to show everyone as well. Now, a lot of people are wondering how you probably upgrade things. By hitting and holding your tab, moving over to your cradle... And then going to your Mesa, whatever that is it's called, <laughs> <laughs> that thing there will unlock your abilities to upgrade, get new items, upgrade your building, all that sort of stuff here. So you got your infrastructure obviously here first up. Just go down the list probably would be the best way to do it, but there are certain things you could bypass. For instance, if you're looking for, um, I don't know, forging techniques, you can just go straight onto that and upgrade um, you're building stuff here, you're crafting, everything like that. All these little things that you learn as you progress, as you grow up into levels, will open up for you. Now, not everything will open up immediately. Some things will remain locked until you're ready to do so. But it will open up a fair bit for you. I'm only at 14, level 14, nearly 15, I think it is. And it's really unlocked a lot for me here. What I've been really looking for is um, doing power upgrades or using power in general. I was just able to finally upgrade your solar panels to be allowed to use it, although I'm still missing materials. I think at level 15, 16, 17, something like that, you'll be able to unlock um, the metal ingots, which will allow you to complete the um, actual building of this sort of stuff. But, you know, this is just my problems that I'm having at the moment. But there is a lot you can do, including, you know, dry aging, all that sort of stuff. There's There's tons. Building is what I'm focusing on because we are builders first and foremost. So that's what we are trying to really unlock first. Obviously a lot to do and it's really, really hard to come by your uh, energy links and your uh, Mimi points or whatever they're called. You have to do a lot of missions. You have to unlock a lot of stuff and you have to get out there and explore. You can't just build. And that's what we're trying to do now, essentially. It's just... Unlock as much as we can so we can un upgrade and do all this sort of stuff. I want to be able to do like stone roofs and stuff like that. That's coming, but it's just going to take a little bit of time. You have to be patient with the game. I don't think there's anything else urgent. I guess your hotkeys, I'll probably go through your hotkeys. Um, it's hard to get used to your hotkeys. 
for me. But along the bottom right hand corner, you got all your things that you can set up in your inventory, right? So you can just drag and drop whatever you like. You got different categories here. So, you, I don't know, if you want to use a fishing rod all the time, you can just keep it in there. If you've got food you want to keep, which is most people do, I've actually run out. So I'll have to probably go hunting again. But what you want to use, your, your primary things, things I like is like obviously like grenades. They're always a good one if you can get your hands on them. Uh, I wouldn't worry about putting ammunition or anything like that. They're always sort of available. But just for your hotkeys, you want your, your water, your food, obviously your um, activators or your uh, stems. And your sanity is one of those good ones you want to keep in your hotbar. There's a quick access. You don't have to worry about going in inventory and um, loading them out, especially when you're in the middle of a battle or something like that. Yeah, yeah. That's the hardest part. Uh, there's nothing else in the inventory. I think that's really noteworthy. Everything else is pretty self-explanatory. Antibiotics. I just realized you can uh, make your yeah. uh, activators. Uh, activators. Yeah. yeah. Which yeah. is cool because I'm going to have to do up a whole bunch because I've only got three left. Next time we go to that rift, I'm going to need a lot more. Yeah, glass, so. glass, glass. Anything else, yeah. James? Um, I was just going to point out, um, keep an eye on your mails. If you haven't opened up your mail Good to point. Um, get all your free, your free introduction uh, energy links and all that sort of thing. Yep, everyone okay. should get it pretty much immediately when starting, eh, James? Yep. And um, the second one that I was going to point out is if you push your... Uh, escape button and then go to explorer guides okay and then go to tasks you'll have um heaps of yellow uh that you can actually hit on and you can get um there's a heap of uh energy links and stuff you can get from there and experience mm -hmm. um will help you know, will help you uh, get through a lot quicker. Yeah. Um, and the beauty of it is you may only have, say, three, three out of seven done. You can still claim those three. Mm. If, you're, if you're chasing um, energy, uh, uh, energy links and stuff like that. See, I, um, I honestly so, didn't even know that. So I'm learning this for the first time as well. This is awesome. Yeah. Um, yep. and, uh, also when you're in the building, um, uh, when you've got the, the, um, the item that you want to, uh, craft or, uh, place, yep. if you hit the E button, it scrolls through the, um, types of, uh, of that item. Um, so if you, you say it saves going back into the infantry and sort of choosing another one. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, so EQ goes back and forward between the building yeah. parts. Yeah. So for instance, I haven't got it unlocked yet, but you can put ballast trading on your, um, your steps or your staircase. Yep. Which is going to be cool because yeah, as yeah. soon as you unlock everything, you don't have to keep going and look for the stuff. Just use your E and your Q to move yep. around. Now that was another thing while we're talking about buttons. Um, when you're going up to your mates or you're, you yeah. know, you've got a bunch of mates, you've got a group, you're in the same sort of server. If you click or look at them and hit Z or Z, um, this is not what I wanted. It'll give you the ability to basically transfer. go through, you can transfer good, which I don't recommend. I don't think it works all that well. You're better yeah. off going to inventory and selecting how much you want to drop and just drop it on the ground there for them to pick up. I think the trade doesn't work properly yet. But yeah. you have the ability to follow your mates, join them to a group. Uh, say, for instance, you just start a group, you get them to join you. Then you can see each other on the mini map and on the big map as well. You can yeah. see exactly where everyone is. Because at the moment, it's hard to really get your friends together unless you all do it at the same time. For instance, if you have a mate that's joining like a week after the game has come out, yeah. you've already started some progress. They don't know what to do. You have to obviously tell them where to go and what uh, location you're in, what server you're in and everything like that. But once they finally get there, it's easy just to quickly go. You can either click on that, but this is the one I wanted to really show you. Is the friend's permissions up here above that. Mm. Now, this will give them the ability to have full access to your facility. 
your building and your storage. Now, you may not want to give full access to all these sort of stuff, but if you want some help building, it's a good one to have. Now, they can do that vice versa with you as well. Yeah. Um, and also, that has uh, the permissions stay um, permanently, but um, as far as uh, every time you log into the game, you've got to... Um, yeah. So you join, hit, join yeah. your teammates all the time. Hit, yeah. Yeah. Hit your F1. That's where you're going to find your mates who's on, who you've added already. Now, by adding your mates, it's very simple. Even if they're not in the same server as you, you can add them by putting their UID or. Um, which is. Yeah. Which is down the bottom left hand corner. That's the easy way to show everyone how to add your mates. Once they're, and if they're in the same one, then you could add them to your group. If they're not in your particular world you won't be able to add them you can add them as a friend but you can't add them to a group it's probably yeah, yeah that's that's pretty much the most of it yeah. anything else mr james anything that we missed no i think that's about uh the the long the short and the long of it yeah um, that's uh pretty much it there are a few other little things but they're all starting to get probably a little bit more advanced which we will do another video on once we feel like we're ready to basically show you well, should, we want to be confident in what we say before we put it up yeah. on YouTube basically so I'm not ready to go through all the other stuff until I know 100% let us know down in the comments if you want to see another video like this or if there's any other suggestions or things that you want to learn because I'm definitely keen to make some more videos like this if you're interested in them but yeah I think also, that's that's about it Amy also um, uh, let us know if you really are enjoying it and you know it's mm. uh we'd love to get some yeah. feedback yeah love we'd to love to get some feedback we're mainly sons con uh, sons of the forest content um you know youtube but um we're trying something different we don't know what people think yet we don't we'd like to get some feedback basically if um if you could that would be awesome but we're going to leave it there everybody thank you all for watching if you could please like and subscribe leave a comment down below that would be awesome we'll see you in the next one bye bye